What's up, beautiful people? If you stick around for today's episode, you're gonna learn how to make elastic waisted shorts. For this tutorial, you're gonna need one to two yards of non stretch fabric, matching thread, and one yard of one inch elastic. You're also gonna need the usual suspects like a pincushion, scissors, a tape measure and a sewing machine to find out which sewing machine is perfect for you watch this video all right so if you haven't watched the video on how to make a pattern for these shorts then you should check out this video that i posted a couple days ago it's going to be in the cards and the description so first you want to fold your fabric so you have two layers when you're cutting and then you're going to pin the pattern to the fabric for stability while you cut. Do the same for the back of the pattern. So when you're done you should end up with two pieces for the back and two pieces for the front. Cut along the edge of the pattern, but don't cut the paper. If you cut the paper, you're risking your chances of dulling your fabric scissors because you're not supposed to use your fabric scissors on paper. Next, you're gonna take the two front pieces and place them wrong sides together. And you're gonna stitch them together with a 1 8 inch allowance. Here, I'm actually stitching mine without pins, but you need to use pins for stability. I'm only doing this because I've been sewing for quite a number of years, but if you're a beginner, it'll be different for you. You're gonna turn your fabric right sides together now and pin at the seam. Once that's done, stitch along the seam again, but this time with a quarter inch seam allowance. And voila, you have a French seam. So you're gonna do the same thing for the back of the shorts and you should end up with two pieces that look just like this. A good practice is to press the seam so that they will lay flat because this way your shorts will look a lot neater. Now you're gonna place the front and the back of the shorts wrong sides together and we're gonna do French seams again. So the first thing you wanna do is to pin along the sides where you're gonna be stitching. I purposefully placed my pins like this because I want to be able to stitch along without any interference or without having to remove the pins while I stitch. So this is a trick that you can try for yourself. You want to also pin along the crotch. It should look like this and now we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to start once more by stitching with a 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. So the seam allowance should be 1 8 of an inch. That's a little bit less than quarter inch. And once you get to the end of course you want to cut your thread and do this on both sides and you're going to do it along the crotch as well. Remember that 1 8 seam allowance. 
Once that's done, you're gonna turn the shorts wrong side out and you're going to pin along the seams that you just stitched. So the very same thing that we did before, we're gonna do this again. Next up, you're gonna stitch along the seams with a quarter inch seam allowance this time to complete your French seams. French seams are useful if you don't have a serger, but you still want to tuck away those raw edges. Actually, I prefer to use French seams over using a serger because it's just a lot more clean in my eyes. If you agree, leave a comment down below. This is how it should look once you're done. You see that clean finish? That's what I'm talking about. So now you're gonna turn the shorts wrong side in and to hem the shorts, you're going to measure and fold the bottom of the shorts by half inch, where you're gonna do this twice. So you're gonna fold once and then you're gonna fold twice and that should be a total of one inch folded for the hem. As you fold, pin the hem of the shorts and we're gonna actually do this all the way around for both legs. The next step is to stitch along the very edge of the folds that you just made. And that's how we're hemming these shorts. Honestly, I love using this stretch satin fabric that I'm using because it's perfect for loungewear, perfect for, you know, just going to bed. It's a nice pajama short and it's a nice shorts to wear at home overall. You can make these for your kids, you can make them for yourself as an adult. Just be sure to follow the relevant measurements that I gave you in the pattern making video that I posted a couple days ago. So this is how the hem of your shorts should look when you are done, sleek and nice. Now we're gonna work on the waistband. And first, you're going to measure your waist circumference on the tape measure and you're gonna minus two inches and measure and cut a piece of elastic. So if your waist is 26 inches, you're gonna cut the elastic 24 inches. Fold the elastic so it overlaps by about a quarter of an inch and then you're gonna stitch to close the elastic into a circle. Fold the elastic in half and pin the opposite side of the seam. Then you're gonna fold the elastic again to match the seam and the pin and you're gonna pin the two sides opposite each other. So you should end up with three pins and a seam in your elastic. If you don't have a serger, then fold your waistband in by half inch and pin all the way around. This is basically going to hide the raw edge so that when you add your elastic, these shorts will just look really professional. This is how it should look. Now that that's done, you're gonna stitch along the edge of the folds all the way around. Match the seam of the elastic to the back seam of the shorts and pin into place. Then you're gonna match all the pins to the side seams and the front seam and pin those into place as well. Stitch 
stitch the elastic to the shorts all the way around. Stretch the elastic while you're stitching so that it will match the shorts. And that's what's gonna give you that nice scrunchy ruching effect. When you're stitching, stitch along the top edge of the elastic. Another reason why you want to stretch your elastic while you stitch is so that it will still have that stretch to it when you are done stitching. It should look like this. Now, you're gonna fold the elastic waistband down and pin it into place. Then you're gonna stitch the elastic down and remember to stretch as you stitch. Stitch along the edge of the elastic once more. And remember, if you don't stretch while you stitch, your threads are gonna pop when you're trying to put this on or it just won't be able to pass your waist at all, your hips I mean, because you did not stretch. So just make sure that you stretch, all right guys? And make sure that your fabric is evenly distributed when you're folding and stretching. To finish these shorts, press the hem so that it will lay flat. And this will just give your shorts like a really, really nice finish. I love how these shorts turned out. If it turned out the same for you, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more sewing tutorials. I will see you